back from Ireland and actually spoiler alert I've been back for like a week now but I haven't had a chance to unpack just been catching up with life um, but I'm gonna show you guys today how I packed just a carry-on and made it through Heathrow Airport security all the way to Dublin it was a fail coming back we'll talk about that in a bit but first matcha I can officially show you guys my massive carry-on. Hold on, let me show you guys in the mirror so you can see it in comparison to my body. I changed into shorts because I cannot wear jeans at home. <laughs> Look at how massive this is. I'm only five feet tall, so I think it looks even bigger next to me. But I will say this was the best possible setup for a carry-on when you're not a light packer, but you are forced to bring a carry-on. So this bag up here is the Weekender bag by Base, I believe is how you pronounce the name. It's right here. 10 out of 10 recommend this bag. I love it. It fits so much stuff. It earned the name Goliath on this trip. But what I really love about it is that the main area is just wide and open. It fits so much stuff. And it has this separate compartment down here for your shoes, which comes in clutch. And then my bag down here, the actual carry-on is by Away. And they actually make two different carry-on cases one is standard size. This one right here is the one that's called the a little bit bigger carry-on, which surprisingly fits so much more stuff than the original or the standard size. I have both and I always prefer the one that's the a little bit bigger carry-on. But let's open this up and show you guys what I packed in here for a week and a half of travels in Ireland. We have a roadblock. Please move, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bam! First, I thought I would just do my makeup really quickly with the makeup that I did pack, which is all in here. And my foundation, I actually packed with the rest of my liquids so that I wouldn't get questioned during security. So any liquids um, were put into this bag. So the only makeup items that were in here are my liquid Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and my Kogan Doe aqua foundation i thought this would be the best one to travel with because i feel confident wearing it for daytime and also nighttime i didn't want to have to pack a daytime foundation and a nighttime foundation when my packing space was limited i'm just gonna run through this makeup really quickly because i have a ton of very very similar full-length tutorials on my channel so my base kogan Doe aqua foundation applied with the fingers blended out with a beauty blender my concealer was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Café Con Leche. I brought this teeny tiny Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder to set my face. Also, this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish for the eyelids and touch-ups. I basically used the Cover FX on the center of the face and then this everywhere else. And the bronzer I packed is the Jouer Light to Medium Duo Bronzer. I also always pack this foldable mirror. I always pack this mirror because you never know what the mirror situation will be, if it's placed in the right area, whatnot. Um, if your friend or whoever you're traveling with is getting ready in the one mirror that the Airbnb or the hotel has, you always have yours on hand. And I cannot tell you guys how many times this mirror has come in handy. It's just by Conair. It can stand up on its own. It's the best. Um, okay, so for blush, 
I also packed these two by Jouet. They just gave me the most options in the most compact, compact. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna mix these two as my blush. One thing I was bummed about that they did take from me at the Dublin airport on my way home was my mini Fix Plus. But it's okay, I can get another mini one. I just like to travel with the small one. There's no need to bring this gigantic one, but um, I'm just gonna use my regular size one now to mist myself before highlighting with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I did also pack a powder highlighter just in case I wanted one, and I packed the Artist Couture Sex Pose highlighter. I'm actually gonna add some eyeshadow first before highlighting. I'm using the Pat McGrath statuesque eyeshadow. I seriously, I could have gone away with just packing this eyeshadow. This was the only one I wore day and night. I just changed up my lip. It's just like the perfect neutral brown and you can darken it, lighten it. Perfect for daytime and nighttime. I love this eyeshadow. Of course, I packed the Dior Brow Styler. What else is new? Superhero Mascara and Fenty Gloss Balm. Honestly, all this extra makeup in here, I could have done without. Well, actually, uh, foundation powder is always an essential. Bare Minerals Bare Pro Shade Golden Ivory for the sunglass marks. I have another video on that, I'll link it up here. Um, everything else in here though, I feel like I very rarely touched, but you just never know what your mood might be um, for going out or for daytime, but for the most part I wore this or no eyeshadow um, or this with a bold lip or no makeup at all because we were riding bikes, horseback riding, hiking, things like that. So. Um, could have packed less for sure, but I needed it all. <laughs> now let's get into what is in these two gigantic carry-on bags because I know you guys are so curious. Okay, one more time before I rummage through this and show you guys everything that I packed, I wanna show you how neatly I packed everything. So with the Away suitcases, they have this compression thing going on here. So when you strap it in and pull it tight, it sucks everything in. So this is a great side for your clothes. So that is why on this side I have this packing cube with my uh, bras, underwear, and socks. Um, I did put some bigger pieces in here like uh, my hair tools, a going out bag, and my supplements and shaker, but for the most part my clothes are all on this side. And then I realized that a lot of clothes could go in Goliath over there, so um, there's a ton of clothes in there as well. And then when you flip it over on this side, this side is completely flat. It doesn't have the bars. So this side of the suitcase has these ridges from the bars, from the handles. So this side is great for all your bulky items that cannot lay flat. So on this side, I put all the toiletries. Again, another um, bag of athleisure, makeup bag, uh, beauty or cosmetics that were solids, tampons because mother nature did strike while on this trip, unfortunately, at least in the very beginning, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and then some, um, and it, or this is the bag of liquids. I did have a second bag down here that had hair product, but I did not pass the 311 rule, which is one bag with items under, I believe it's like three fluid ounces or four fluid ounces. That includes creams, liquids, aerosols, you know, I just wish they would keep it consistent because my sister had two bags and she got through and I didn't. And that was just at Dublin airport because I made it through Heathrow and Heathrow airport is notorious for being very difficult to pass security. Anyway, and then in this guy, I decided to put all my heavy jackets and big sweaters because Ireland is a little bit on the cold side. So this is why I love this bag. Look how it opens up. It's gigantic. If it's so much stuff, I kept my laptop in here. This is actually a travel makeup light, which I will link down below. It is an essential if you're crazy about makeup like me because sometimes hotels also don't have the best lighting and this guarantees you amazing lighting every time. But then there was my laptop, um, also some camera equipment, adapters. And then my favorite part about this bag, like I mentioned, is the shoe compartment. So when you unzip this, you have a whole other compartment down here which is meant for shoes, but, oh no wait, I did pack shoes in here, sorry. I think at first I had my toiletries in here and then I realized that wasn't efficient. So I packed two hats because obviously two was necessary, not one. I packed my leggings in here and then all my shoes went here. I wore my docks, which were my biggest and bulkiest shoes. You always wear your biggest and bulkiest items on the plane to save you space in your carry-on. Uh, so let's go through each item very quickly. And by the way, both of these suitcases together weighed around 50 pounds 
I'm obviously not gonna go through and show you guys all of my underwear and socks and bras. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> but again, um, in here I packed my beauty blenders, Q-tips, makeup wipes, floss, uh, to save myself um, from having to carry another liquid, I packed a solid bar of soap. Try and pack as many solids as you can. Solid deodorant, even though I normally love my aerosol can of Dove deodorant, I packed a solid. The shout wipes, which are the best. Um, Neosporin, because you never know when someone's gonna get hurt, in the case of my sister. And then um, other, like, you know, some Advil, some more floss, some Invisalign cleaners, a razor, that's what's in this bag, the empty bag, RIP, a belt, a black tee, also a white tee, essentials. A lot of you had questions about this shirt from Nike. Um, it is from Nike and I just love it because of the drawstring down here, makes it really cute. Obviously adapters, you need adapters whenever traveling. A simple silky black top to go out in. Overall, my strategy was one pair of jeans, three pairs of shoes, and just tops to switch up the look. So my one pair of jeans that I brought with me are this pair from, I believe it's a gold D or a gold denim. Um, these are the style, let me look it up real quick. Definitely my favorite pair of jeans. I still wear them with almost everything. They were definitely like that one pair of go-to jeans that I needed on this trip. I was gonna pack multiple pairs and I'm like, dude, you're carrying a carry-on, one pair of jeans and a couple of leggings in case they get dirty. Um, but these jeans went with everything. Okay, so these are the Parker Easy Straight by a Gold or a Gold D in the shade Swap Me. And I do feel like their jeans run a little big. So I wear a size 23, but normally I'm a size 24. Um, these are, uh, what was in this one? Is this the bras and underwear again? Okay, no, this is the bras and underwear and socks. This was like sports bras and athleisure. Clearly, I don't know about you guys, but I'm an overpacker of chonies when I know I'm gonna be gone. I literally pack double or triple the amount of underwear I need in comparison or in relation to the number of days I'm gonna be gone. So if I'm gonna be gone for eight days, I pack 16, maybe even more pairs of underwear, it's ridiculous. Hair tools, I actually did pack my Dyson. I took it out of my bag because I needed to use it. I packed my Dyson, didn't really need it because the US um, Dyson Supersonic doesn't work abroad. So I actually ended up going to a Boots and buying a travel size um, babyless hair dryer and it actually worked great. I left it behind in an Airbnb because I couldn't fit it in my luggage on the way back. Um, thankfully it was only around like 20 bucks. But in here I have um, hair brushes, a travel straightener. I love this travel straightener by T3. I will link it down below, it's the best. And I also pulled out my curling iron but it's the one that I use, my infamous curling iron that I use all the time to create my go-to waves. It's the G GHD soft curler, one and a quarter inch uh, curling iron. Pajamas, this is my favorite set from Gymshark. I also have it in light gray, I always wear it around the house. I will also link it. And then like I said, I just packed um, a couple of really simple t-shirts um, or blouses that I could pair with my black leather jacket, which was in the other bag. And honestly, I feel like I packed the perfect amount of clothes. So nice little green tank top, also from Ref. I got a lot of Reformation in here. You guys know I love that brand. It's just because their stuff fits me so well for being so petite. Zara, Ugh, I loved this blouse and I didn't really get to wear it. I only wore it for one photo. At that last Airbnb we stayed at, that was so cool, you guys. It was an old church called St. Peter's. It's a landmark. And the um, apartment we were staying in actually had the original sandstone, archways and everything. Um, no, it was not haunted. A lot of people asked if it was haunted. I don't think it was. And I've stayed at some of the most haunted places in America just by, <laughs> I don't even know. It's been, it was super random that I've stayed at Hotel Cecil. That's a story time video. The hotel that American Horror Story is based off of. Um, Queen Mary, the haunted ship, and then this haunted hotel in New Orleans, which I can't remember the name of. Anyway, this blouse, so beautiful, also from Zara. Um, another simple long sleeve tee because, again, it gets really cold in Ireland. It was hot in Dublin. In Dublin, it was hot and humid, but then once we left Dublin and went to 
um, Killarney and Galway and Cove. Everywhere we went along the coast was cold. Um, didn't even end up wearing this one, but I brought it because I'm like, it's thin. It can work if it's cold or hot um, with a leather jacket. Going out bag from Marc Jacobs, the simple black. My supplement holders and um, shaker. I make my matcha whenever I'm traveling um, with my travel whisk. This is an essential. If you like making protein shakes or matcha, it comes in clutch. Um, I would make me and my sister uh, matchas and protein shakes with all this stuff right here. And the last thing I have in here is um, my bag of skincare. So there were a few more items in here that I had to throw away at Dublin Airport. Dublin, why, why do you do this to me? So in here, we just have some skincare items, my hyaluronic acid, the um, Glow 2 O toner from Ulla Henriksen, um, like I said, my foundation and um, cream highlighter I put in this bag just to stick it with all my other liquids. I obviously had to save my Le Labo Santal 33 fragrance. They were not gonna take that away from me. So I really just kind of, when they told me I had to get rid of stuff, um, I wasn't, we didn't have time to go back down and check the bag or check any bags. So I was like, okay, what stuff are you okay with getting rid of? And it was things like toothpaste that I was done using, um, hair gel, like hairsprays, a lot of my hair product kind of, I think all of my hair product actually, minus the shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner, um, got thrown out. It was a very sad day for me. Little tip for you guys in case you're stressed about trying to pack your medications, those can exceed the 311 rule. Um, it was just, I just, you know, it's just, I need to vent for a little bit because like I said, this bag is TSA approved and they made me take it out and put it in one of their Ziploc bags. I was like, are you guys fucking with me? You're fucking with me. That is all that was in this a little bit bigger away suitcase. And I think you guys pretty much saw everything that was in Goliath, AKA the base, base um, weekender bag, this guy. <laughs> I think you guys saw everything. Um, nice, warm, fuzzy sweater. This is my favorite sweater of all time. Smart ass, also by Ref. Just some sweaters and long sleeve, like cozy items that I wore when I was cold. I wore this to the Cliffs of Moher. Oh, this bag, everyone was asking about this bag. It's by Nike. It's basically like a giant fanny pack. And I took this with me everywhere because I would have my camera with me. So this was a great exploring bag or day bag. And then obviously that other one, the nicer one I would wear to the pubs. Um, and then yeah, you guys already saw what was down here, the two hats and the shoes and the leggings. The one leather jacket that I packed. But this is the big jacket that I took with me that came in clutch as well um, in the colder areas of Ireland. It's kind of like an oversized, not an oversized, like a really long bomber, but it is petite size. It was from like two, three years ago from Topshop and it comes with a detachable hood, which was perfect. And I just, I had to wear it on the plane um, because it is way too bulky, but it actually folds down pretty nicely. Like, you can actually get it to be really small. What do you think, Mika? You agree? Shake. Put it there. Shake. Yes, bitch, you're my bitch. Also remember that I wanted to show you this as I was grabbing the luggage scale because I had to pull it out because there was some jewelry I wanted to wear, but this is the best jewelry case holder. It's got one big open pocket up here, which I usually put my necklaces and little baggies and my sunglasses. And then down here is my favorite part. Um, this holds all your earrings, um, bracelets, rings, and things like that. Um, hopefully I'll find it. It was a gift in a PR package. Oops. Ooh. It was a gift from a PR package. So hopefully I can find it and link it down below for you guys. And then this is the luggage scale also from Amazon. What else is new? All you do is hook this to your suitcase and then pull it up and it'll tell you how much your bag weighs. So in total, my luggage was a little over 50 pounds. One bag was 28 pounds, the other bag was 25 pounds. So I definitely still did not pack light, but I did feel like I packed the perfect amount of stuff for a week and a half long trip through Ireland. And we weren't backpacking, we were staying at a different Airbnb almost um, every single night. So um, overall, the trip was just amazing. Um, I highly recommend you guys go to Ireland. It is just such a beautiful country and it's so scenic. You can't help 
but take a photo everywhere you turn. I mean, obviously live in the moment and enjoy it, but I'm glad I brought my camera. I almost didn't bring it because I was like, ah, I don't know, it's kind of bulky. I don't think I need it. And then I was like, you're going to regret it if you see something that you really want to photograph and you don't have your camera. So I did bring this camera with me. I got some footage along the way, but didn't vlog because I just wanted to enjoy the trip with my sister and then captured photos whenever I could. I'll be linking the itinerary that my sister put together for this trip on my Instagram under an Ireland um, highlight, as well as all the best moments and also the Airbnbs we stayed at, especially that church in Dublin because it was beautiful, so stunning. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, you know the drill, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.